Hi, Shane Simpson again here from Ottawa, Canada. Thanks for coming back. This is Rutbuster 02. This is the second uh, video in our Rutbuster series. Again, they're just meant to be small and nice and short and just little nuggets, and uh, hope you learn something from these. Uh, this one is a modal study in G. Um, lots of information about the uh, modes out there. Watch out, some of it good, some of it bad. Um, I'm going to take a G major 7, sharp 11 chord here. Take a close look at that guy. That is a G note. There's an F sharp here. There's a B. There's a C sharp, and there's an F sharp. I'll sh get to show you where we're going in just a sec. G major 7 sharp 11. Now that chord is Lydian. Okay, that chord is Lydian. Um, Lydian is the fourth mode of a major scale. So what that is here, we've got, uh, we are in the, we're on the fourth chord in the key of D. Okay, so we're in the key of D major, but focusing on the fourth chord within the key of D. Again, the fourth step of a major scale is Lydian. And this chord actually contains the characteristic note of the Lydian mode, which is the sharp four right here. So some people call this G major seven sharp 11. Some will call it G, uh, G major seven with a sharp four. It's, it's okay, same thing, whatever. Um, G major seven sharp 11, I'll call it. And uh, the C sharp is present in the chord, which makes it Lydian. So I'll repeat, this chord is coming out of the key of D key of D, okay? So you could have a Lydian scale all built up from the G itself. I could go root, two, three, sharp, four, five, six, a major seventh, and here's your root again, it would repeat up the octave. Or just to get rut busting, you could think of this, just play D major all over it. D major, D major all the way. I'm gonna run up to a well-known pattern here in the, on the 10th fret, second finger starting this off. Like that D major, and you'll have that on paper out there. There we go. So that's going to be over top of our friend here, G major 7, sharp 11. Then I'm going to switch now. I'm going to go to a G minor chord here. G minor 7th, add 4 would be proper, but uh, common street lingo for this is it just G minor 11, and that's fine. I shouldn't call it 11th because we don't have a 9th in it, but it's okay. Guitar players tend to... Tend to um, you know, take little liberties like that, myself included. So G minor 7, uh, G minor 11, excuse me, boom. I'm going to treat that like it's Dorian. Now that Dorian is the second mode. So Dorian is the second mode. So G is the second of F. Okay, so this is now the second chord of F. I hope that's not confusing. We have gone from G major 7, sharp 11, awful name for a chord, I know, which we're going to treat as the fourth chord in the key of D. We're going to play D major scale on top of that. And then we'll swap it to this G minor 11th chord here. And we're going to treat that like it's coming out of the key of F. So one more time here, G major 7, sharp 11. We'll treat him Lydian. Okay, so he is the fourth step of a, of a particular scale, in this case, D. And this guy here is G Dorian. He's coming from the key of F. He's the second step in the key of F, okay? So when we're improvising on top of that, I'm literally going to, I'm gonna, I'm just, just to keep it nice and compact here, I'm, I'll repeat that D scale I'm gonna use. Here's a D major scale. And descending. There we go. And now F major here for the G Dorian chord right here is gonna be this guy. So they're nice and close. So I'm going to have to switch mid-flight. In a loop station, I've got those chords loaded up with just a nice kind of finger-picky pattern to keep it kind of atmospheric. And I'll have to change scales midway, and I'll show it when I'm doing that. So here we go. Little boss of groove going on here. Here's D major all over this. Oh, it's just a scale. Here's the F. It's a beautiful key change. Back to D here. To F. Just scaly for now. Back to D. Here's an F. I'll try to change on the same string. I was going to be in a key of D here. Check this out. Uh, now, F. I'll examine each of those strings. Here's the B string, key of D, in the area. Here's key of F. Yeah, you do that for each string, so you'll find the closest move to the a scale note that's pertinent to the new key here. There's D major, and here's F. And now, you don't restrict yourself, you can go all over the neck here. So here's D 
down here we go. Oh, it was a little early there, but you can anticipate it like that. D. Here's F right close by. Yeah, beautiful sound. I really like that. I like a lot. You hear a lot of uh, sort of um, what you call fusiony, jazzy fusiony guys doing a lot of that sound. It's uh, it's always been one of my favorites. Um, it's a neat modal study as well. If modes are new to you, read up on them. Um, we uh, you should know modal scales proper. That's for sure. But then also know what uh, what parent major scale they come from. It makes life a whole lot easier. Uh, that's Rutbuster number two. So uh, enjoy your feedback. So keep on contacting me, and we'll see you very soon for uh, for uh, Rutbuster number three. Take care. Bye bye.